Hey there, it's Mark from Air Pigs with video update number two. This one uh, I'm going to cover a variety of things, but the first thing I want to cover is kind of a disclaimer for the uh, project overall. Uh, what I'm trying to do is build an experimental airplane. Key word there, experimental. I actually love that word. I was raised on experimental airplanes. And to some people, it's a big scary word. To me, it's not scary at all. It just means that, uh, you know, we're using tried and true methods, but we're doing it, you know, in a way that's not, you know, certified. And, uh, and it is, and sometimes it's just truly experimental. You're trying to come up with ideas that maybe uh, haven't been used much or even at all. That's the nature of it. But it's not as crazy as some people might think. But nonetheless, there's always risk. But you know, there's a risk getting out of the bathtub. You could slip, hit your head, and you can, you can die right there. So uh, life is a risky business. And uh, so uh, flying homemade airplanes, yeah, there's always a risk. And especially if you're, you're building an airplane, there's, uh, there's a lot of things you need to know. So this video series that's coming up of Project VP is uh, not necessarily meant to be followed in any way, shape, or form. It's just me doing what I'm doing, and it's here for entertainment purposes. And uh, you might learn some things along the way, but you have to accept the responsibility of anything that you would do based on what you see me do. Uh, that's, that's just something you have to accept the responsibility on. Uh, building an airplane is a difficult task in a variety of ways, and there's an awful lot of knowledge that you need to have. I was raised around airplanes, and I'm 48 years old now, so I've been around this stuff a lot. And I have a fair amount of experience. I've rebuilt some airplanes and rebuilt several sets of wings. And uh, I actually started building an airplane not all that much different than, than the Volksplane uh, in, when I was in high school. And that was a long time ago. I was only 16 years old. So uh, it's not the kind of thing where you just say one day, hey, I think I'll build an airplane, and you go do it. There's an awful lot you need to know. And uh, you need to gather a lot of information, study, and learn. And that's one area where this, this whole segment may be of interest because you might be able to see some things that um, you know, open your eyes to a little bit about what it's like, and that's certainly what I hope. So now I want to uh, kind of also give a quick overview again on the project. What I'm trying to do is build a, a somewhat modified Volksplane. Um, it's a Volkswagen engine-powered airplane, and I have a friend in Illinois that has a Volkswagen engine, an airworthy engine that I can borrow for this project because in addition to doing this airplane and trying to get it done, in about two months time, which is uh, again going to be very difficult, don't know if I can do it. The whole purpose is to try to get the airplane up to Oshkosh uh, at the end of July. But uh, the uh, other challenge for me on all of this is that I'm doing it in the midst of having a, a lot of financial problems. We're finally starting to slowly emerge from that, but we've been one of the people in this country that have really been struggling. And uh, so, to even be able to get through it, I've had to get quite creative. And I've got a friend in Illinois with an airworthy Volkswagen engine, and he's going to let me borrow it for the project. So the largest chunk that I need is, is covered at this point in time. But I do want to, again, point your attention to um, a, the post on the uh, website that has information about the sponsorship t-shirt uh, method, by which, if you're really interested in what I'm doing, if you want to support this, uh, one, it's going to be very public uh, with a live shop cam running a lot of the time. In fact, while I'm filming this right now, the shop cam is running. And uh, then also these video updates like you're seeing right now uh, and posts on air pigs, a variety of ways trying to make people aware of, of what it's like to build an airplane and especially to do so affordably and hopefully not a huge amount of time uh, required. Uh, you know, most people wouldn't be able to, to build it in less than a year, but the idea is to try to encourage people to see that maybe they could build an airplane uh, in a year's time so they could get out there and start having fun with it. I think that's pretty important. So anyway, I do hope you'll check out the opportunity to uh, support uh, the project. And in essence, what you're really doing, if you do support Project VP, you're really supporting airpigs.com in general. Um, the site's only been up since uh, mid-December, and uh, if I can get an airplane with great graphics on it on the flight line up at Oshkosh, lots and lots of people are instantly going to know about airpigs.com, and I think they want to know. I mean, I'm trying very hard to create a site that uh, is definitely uh, interesting, entertaining, educational, and great to look at, and it's only going to get better as I have more time and more uh, resources uh, at arm's reach to be able to make that website really something. If you're familiar with uh, airpigs.com and you like what I'm doing, then supporting this project with the uh, purchase of a t-shirt is uh, a fantastic thing for you to do. It'll mean an awful lot to this entire little world that I'm trying to, to create here. So. Hopefully that helps you to understand a little bit more of why I'm trying to sell a t-shirt for $50. Uh, it's going to be a high quality shirt. They're actually going to cost me about $15 
to have them made because it's going to be relatively small volume. And uh, so it's, it's not a junk shirt, it's going to be really nice and then that leaves a fair amount of money left over for me to be able to put into the materials that I need to build the airplane. So I hope you'll seriously consider that. Then I'd like to move on and show you, uh, I, I purchased some wood on uh, this last Saturday, um, which I don't even know today's date, I think it's the 26th. Uh, this is Tuesday evening, um, the day after Memorial Day. And over the weekend, I was able to pick up the wood and uh, also to um, get a uh, piece of wood at Lowe's where I was able to cut out a uh, template because the ribs on a Volksplane are made out of plywood <clears throat> and they're routed uh, or you, you can route them anyway you can cut them out too but it's a lot more time consuming that way so I have uh, I made a jig and here's one area right away if you're very familiar with the Volksplane uh, by any means you'll see these ribs are a little bit different from a variety of standpoints so I'm not going to go into all those details right now but I have made some modifications here but this is a template that I use with the router to make the ribs, which look just like it, except these are only a quarter inch thick. It's a five ply plywood. It's extremely strong and it's quite quick and easy by comparison to a standard stick built rib, which has many, many pieces and gluing and it's just very, very time consuming. These can be uh, produced quite quickly. They're a little heavier, but um, they're incredibly strong, very easy to make. And this is again only Tuesday evening and I've not worked on the airplane at all until just now this evening. Uh, so between picking up the wood on Saturday, building the template, and then now already I have um, six of the fully routed ribs that are built. And then I have uh, two of the ribs that are actually solid because a couple of them uh, for a variety of reasons have very little holes in them. So uh, made some really good progress there, and uh, so I'm I'm actually up and running. This thing's for real, and uh, I can say that um, I still believe it's possible for me to get this airplane done in a short period of time. Uh, but there's no guarantee that I can do that. It's a huge project, and I have a lot going on in my life. I've got a little bit more video that I shot the other day of me uh, uh, cutting some of the blanks out of the uh, plywood and then also actually uh, one of the ribs being routed. So that will be coming up here in just a second. So uh, I hope you're uh, interested in this project. I hope you kind of follow along and uh, uh, support Project VP. Thanks a bunch. It's late in the evening on Saturday, May 23rd, and uh, here today I was able to do a variety of things. I actually picked up some some uh, birch quarter inch five ply plywood to be able to make the wing ribs out of. And I took the wing rib pattern uh, that I had generated on the computer and cut it out so that it had the exact shape of the airfoil. And then I transferred that to a piece of wood that I uh, uh, cut and sanded really accurately to match that uh, particular uh, template. And, and actually what I'm doing here is I'm creating out of this three quarter thick piece of wood a template or a jig for a router to be able to route the ribs very rapidly on the uh, quarter inch plywood. So what I've been doing is I've been laying out the spar locations front and rear and then also these lightening holes just to remove some excess wood make it a little bit lighter.